Hi guys, let's continue learning about chapter number 1, Molecules of Life, by learning about proteins. These are the lesson objectives that you need to complete after you have finished learning about proteins. Firstly, you need to be able to describe the basic structure of amino acids. Secondly, you need to be able to state how amino acids are grouped. You also need to be able to explain the formation and breakdown of dipeptide. You need to be able to describe how proteins are classified according to level of organization and the bonds involved. You need to be able to classify proteins according to the structure and composition. And lastly, you need to be able to describe the effect of pH and temperature on the structure of proteins. Proteins. Proteos in Greek meaning primary. This reflect the important functions that protein plays in our everyday life. Your hair, your nails, and your skin, for example, consists of a lot of proteins called keratin and also collagen. Besides becoming structural components of your body parts, proteins also involved in various metabolic functions, for example, hemoglobin that is involved in the carriage of oxygen, and salivary amylase that starts the digestion of carbohydrates in your mouth. Proteins are made up of its monomer, its dimer, and its polymer. The monomer of protein is known as amino acid, and it is the simplest form of proteins. The dimer of protein is called the dipeptide. It is formed from the condensation of two molecules of amino acids. The polymer of proteins is known as polypeptide, and it is formed from the condensation of many molecules of amino acids. Amino acid. Let's have a look how do we describe the general structure of an amino acid. Amino acid is a compound with an amino group, NH2, a carboxyl group, COOH, and a side chain represented by R group, all attached to a central alpha carbon. Now, based on the description, let's draw and label the general structure of amino acid. As we have described, amino acid is a compound with an amino group, NH2, carboxyl group, C double bond O, OH, a side chain represented by R group, all connected to the central alpha carbon. Since we know that carbon can form a maximum four bonds, so we complete the last bond by bonding it to hydrogen. Therefore, we get the general structure of an amino acid. To label, this is the amino group, and this is the carboxyl group, and this is the side chain. There are 20 different amino acid species, all differing at their side chains. This is why we represent the side chains with R. This is because there are too many combinations. Although there are 20 different side chains making up different species of amino acids, these side chains can be grouped into four distinct groups based on the similar properties that they possess, thus creating four groups of amino acids. Those amino acids with H only in its side chain, or rings in its side chain, or hydrocarbon chain in its side chain, is classified as nonpolar amino acid. Those amino acids with S, or O, or N in its side chain is classified as polar amino acids. To remember this group, remember Sun. Those amino acid with negatively charged in its side chain is classified as acidic amino acids. And lastly, those amino acids with positively charged in its side chain will be classified as basic amino acids. The rank represents the order of precedence when you determining in which group does an amino acid belongs to. We look at the charge first, and then we find the sun, and lastly, it will be nonpolar. As an example, let's have a look at this amino acid. In its side chain, there are three things at once. There's ring, there is N, and there is positive charge. So how do we classify this amino acid? Since the positive charge is rank 1, 
So we classify this amino acid in basic amino acid group. Even though it has N, it will not be considered as polar amino acid, and even though it has ring, it will not be considered as nonpolar amino acid. Another example, in this amino acid, there are two things here. There is ring and there is O. Since SON is ranked 2 compared to the ring, which is ranked 3, this is why this amino acid is grouped within the polar amino acid group.